So here we are, pulling into a farm you guys are well familiar with. And I'm out here for a few reasons. The usual, knock them back before they get breathing. But also, I've been pretty cooped up this winter. It just hasn't given me a lot of opportunities to get out here. So uh, this is kind of um, pigeon soup for the soul here. <laughs> Also, uh, I didn't get a lot of small game hunting this year. My coffers are empty, and they've been empty for right a while. So I want some meat. I want to get some of these ferals, these nasty pigeons, the ones that a lot of you snub your nose at, and I want to eat them. So we're going to head on up and have a look. There's none up there right now, uh, but they're all over in the sky here. They'll be here. Windy today. About a 10 to 15 out of the <whistles> south. So this place just looks a little rougher every year. It's been about six months since I've been in here. Just focusing. Change the lighting. <laughs> there I am. <laughs> Oof. I don't think they've lit it on fire again since the last time I was here. Up the stairs. Oh, look at this. It's a big pile of dookie. If that was a raccoon, I hope he's gone. If that was a person, I hope he's gone. All right, suspense over, I think. The crow's nest. <laughs> <laughs> Let me set my gun down here. Uh, look what's on the floor. <laughs> oh man. I've been missing these. The worst for wear, I don't think. A little gunky. Not too bad. This is an omen. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> I think it's like February. 23rd, there's a massive heat wave right now going through the Midwest and we're all kind of enjoying this little winter hiatus. Uh, we're gonna return to winter in about two days. Avoiding the entire conversation of climate change, just enjoying my day. Let's set you down here today. How does that suit you? We're already in business. Oh, did I already cock this? Yes, I did. Oh, he's going down. Going down over there. He's in the field. Here. There he is. Oh, he's kind of acting like a decoy too. Attracting some attention. Don't suppose any of you guys want to land by him. That's like about 130 yards. That's my rangefinder. 125. Well, they're not gonna stick around. Oh, they're Come on guys, just hold still, give me a shot. I can make this, I can make, oh. They walked off stage. All right, so here, oh, you gotta be, <laughs> hang on, hang on, we gotta, uh, that. a guest. <laughs> that little turd. I bet Tail Hawk just landed out there. He didn't waste even a second, actually. You didn't see it, but he, he dove down very aggressively, stuck right on that pigeon. Uh, I think he's looking around like he can't believe the gift he's just been given. Mommy, the hawk ate my pigeon. <laughs> All right, then we'll, we'll see you later. I'm gonna go out and land on one of them sh straw bales out there. All right, uh, back to zero. <laughs> Back to zero. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Wing shot on that one. We'll get them in just a second. They went up, circled around, and they're going to land again. So uh, we'll hold off on chasing down that winged guy. Another, 
another wing shot. All right, so um, before I go out there, uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use for that, actually. Um, it's different, I'm not gonna drag my 25 cal out. I'm going to use my 22, and I actually brought this along to go up in the barns um, because, well, I'll get to that in just a second, but I wanna show this to you right before I go down. Those pigeons aren't gonna go anywhere, and we'll get them both. This is my FX Streamline. Uh, new gun from FX, uh, as you're looking at it, it's pretty spiffy. It comes in under $1,000, not this model. This is a laminate stock. And I have a Hug It moderator uh, screwed onto the end of here. So what I've done is I've tuned this down to nine foot-pounds. The reason I did that is because there is uh, barns and these kind of white hay covers. They're an inexpensive way to create uh, an area that you can store straw and hay. And I can't be using a 25 caliber rifle when I go in those areas. So this is a 22 and it's tuned to nine foot pounds. So if I put the pellet on the breast of the pigeon, it doesn't exit. But check this out. Here's the new thingy on here. This thing right here, it attaches like that. It's called the side shot and it's slicker than snot on a brass door knob. This family, a uh, father son outfit, actually father son, son, uh, company. Uh, I meet them every year when I go to Extreme Bench Rest. These guys are thinking of crazy awesome things to do every year. Now what makes this one different and pretty sweet is that uh, it'll just use your phone. Slides right in to here. Then this clamps down and check this out. <laughs> Isn't that freaking sweet? Now here, here's the icing on the cake. You can still use your eye to shoot. There's like a two-way mirror piece of glass in there. There was a GoPro version of this kind of thing that cost like over a thousand dollars. This thing, they're gonna make this under 300. I'm almost positive it's under 300. Through the camera, I think Eagle Vision makes the best thing. You wanna use your eye. This is by far the best one. When we go down to the barns and I gotta walk around in there, it is impossible to hang it out like this and try taking an offhand shot. I can't do it. I fail at it miserably every time. This, this I can do. Okay, uh, I'm sure our pigeons are now halfway to the next county, so let's get out there and go shoot them offhand in the field. <laughs> oh, I get to talking and just blah, blah, blah. You know the coolest part about having your camera mounted on the side of the gun. Is that all you gotta do is hit that little button on your phone and suddenly uh, you have a narration camera. It's fantastic. And I forgot, I forgot my magazine for this FX Streamline. It takes so much time to individually load. I might as well be shooting a Springer. Sweet. In spite of my long-windedness, we still got both those. Oh, I forgot to show you guys one more thing on the side shot. It's, this is obviously a big piece of equipment on here. You don't want it on there, no big deal. Loosen this, loosen this, and the whole jobber slides right off. All it has to stay on is that uh, stainless steel bracket right there. And you can even take that off with the two grub screws on there. And that'd be my only gripe, really, with the boys who made this, is that those screws are not metric. All right, uh, the birds are back, so let's shoot the birds. This is a longer shot. I'm gonna dial, you can't see that. I'm still using this uh, MTC scope. I'm gonna dial this 65 yards. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now we got one up there. Okay. You. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
Oh, good clean body shot there. Oh, <laughs> let me show you what he did. Okay, he slid off the silo down to here and just wailed his head uh, on this. He looks like, <laughs> like that guy from uh, Titanic, remember that? When the ship went like this and then he fell down and... And don't get on my case that that was a tragedy. That was a movie. That was a vision by James Cameron. James Cameron does what James Cameron does because James Cameron is James Cameron. Cameron has no idea if that guy flipped up and did all of that. That was all for you, for me to go, oh, in the midst of a love story that gave us a little bit of horrible bloodshed. Anyway, he hit so damn hard on that right there. Uh, if the pellet didn't kill him, uh, that hit did. Holy cow. <laughs> okay, things have slowed down a little bit more, so let's go collect those and, uh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Land. Do it. Do it. <laughs> All right, ain't gonna happen. And the landowner just rolled up, so go say hi to him too. Be right back. Well, I managed to get about 10 by the end of the day. And, uh, I never really gone through this with you guys as to how I, uh, oh look at this, that's interesting. See that? See how his feathers are off right there? Now why do you think his feathers would be off right there? I've heard people say that too much of anything is not good for you baby. Because <laughs> it's springtime. So I never showed you guys how I clean pigeons, and I don't really uh, clean the whole bird. I don't, you know, pluck every dang feather off it and gut it. And no, it's not worth that. You just breast the dang things, and it's actually very simple how I do it. I don't even like uh, take the breast apart. Like a morning dove, you can pop it out and twist it and take the whole breast, uh, sort of keel and all. With a pigeon, that's much tougher in there. It's you can't just rip it out. I mean, there's a lot of connective tissue holding it. So what I just do is uh, I rip off all the feathers in the breast area. Nice to do this too uh, in a spot where you can do that. The breast goes all the way down like to between the legs so get these feathers down here too it'll make life easier on you. You can leave all the rest of the feathers on them. Make them look like that. Then we're just gonna take this little heart-shaped chunk of meat right off them. With any knife, I like this one a lot. It's by Carter Cutlery. Uh, Murray Carter sent me this knife, geez, five years ago? Four years ago when I just started first doing YouTube videos? It was just a gift. He said, you don't owe me anything for it. I like what you do. I enjoy watching you. How about a knife? I said, heck yeah. Back to Senior Pigeon. Just get under the skin a little bit. Kind of rip it off right there, both sides, and you can see this big chunk of meat getting exposed. There we go, all nice and exposed. And then I just fillet these right off. I start at the keel and I hug, hug the keel. Cut down until, until she stops. Then I kind of just fillet it. Right off the keel, just like that. And you wind up then with these little hearts of meat. And that's it, filleted pigeon. Actually weighs, uh, it's about half of his weight when you take that breast out. That's where all their power is. So that's how I clean pigeons and pretty much any small bird. Tomorrow the weather's gonna shift, drop back in the 30s, and we go back into hibernation. But this was a gorgeous day. An anomalously, anomalously? An anomalous, <laughs> gorgeous day. Thanks for joining me. Bye, guys.